Hi, I'm Nadia Dunn. Welcome to CCL TV. We're here at the E-Commerce Berlin Expo and joining me is Peter from the E-Commerce Berlin Expo. Thank you so much for being here today, Peter. I'm sure you're incredibly busy. Yeah, you're right. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> Thank you. Now, tell us a bit about yourself and the company. Yeah, I'm one of the three co-founders of, uh, of the show. And we running this show since 2016. This edition is the number six. Uh, unfortunately, due to the pandemic, we had to postpone the show three times. But finally, we are here and we are happy that uh, the number of exhibitors is the highest ever. And the important fact is, it's, this show is not only dedicated for the German industry, because the half of the exhibitors are international companies. So we are quite satisfied with this outcome. That's a, a brilliant turnout for the event. I'm guessing a lot of that is because people are finally allowed to go to events again in person. Exactly, because we see that need to people to see each other in person. I had a lot of conversation with our potential and current clients they don't, don't want to invest in any virtual form. It's not something worth for them to invest. And they're just waiting to meet in person in uh, such a great venue as we have here. Well, talking of the virtual side of things, do you think going forward that events will become a hybrid of, of these in-person, face-to-face and the virtual ones when people can't get there? I think that no. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think that this is the strongest part. Uh, yesterday, I had a lot of talks with our, with, with the retailers, with the service providers. All of these people don't want to talk with someone by the internet. They want to interact with these people. They want to feel the vibe of the event. This is so much more opportunities to get a business done with someone. With if you met this, met this person mm -hmm. in, per yeah, if you met this person. In on, real on life. Play. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, you sound very passionate about that. Tell us how you stay motivated and, and passionate during, you know, the COVID times. It was a really tough time for everyone. Yeah, because to be honest, we were super lucky just before the pandemic because in 2020, we organized the last show and two weeks after the lockdown has came. And right now, we are for the first time after the pandemic, we're struggling a lot to convince the clients we will be able to organize the event in the regular form. And we succeed with that. Excellent. Great stuff. Now, can you tell us what e-commerce and supply chain companies can get out of attending the event? They can meet with merchants because we have a huge group of merchants, especially from the Brandenburg region. We have a VIP program for these people. Uh, we have a, such a great agenda because one of my business partners, he's responsible for the agenda. He's looking for the hot topics. He's looking for the best speakers from the retailer's side. So I think that we have a top class speakers on stages right now. If you compare our event and the agenda between the payable events, I think that we are the best solution for the, for the people, especially in Berlin, to get the latest knowledge from, uh, from the best experts in the industry. And tell us about your future events. So the next event will take place on February. I know that w right now is May, but everything happened due to, uh, by the pandemic. So in the next 10 months, we will be working on the new agenda with the new speakers. And our aim is to attract around 250 exhibitors, attract more people, especially from the UK, because this is one of my personal goals. I'd like to have more people from the UK, more service providers from the UK. This is a good market. I've seen that how many British companies want to be present here and they're looking for some uh, German clients, especially that if 87% of Germans are buying online every week. 
Wow, amazing. And it's the UK audience that you're you're trying to pull in more so for next year. What, what are you what can we tell them is the main thing they can get if they come to this event? I think that this is the best opportunity to meet with these German companies to see how the big e-commerce is in a different countries because uh, especially, uh, we have a lot of audience from Poland, from Czech Republic, from Slovakia, from Scandinavian countries. This is like a point of the meeting with these people because we organize this event in English. We don't want to create this language barrier between the exhibitors and the visitors. It's much easy to reach out to these people and inform them about the event and in comparison to the other events, you you have some kind of German event for the German in, uh, for the German audience because everything is German. This is some kind of barrier. Mm -hmm. We'd like to release these barriers and create something more international. Well, we've had such a buzz about people being here. Everyone's so excited and networking is the word that's on everyone's lips. We've asked everyone what the main thing that they've come for and it's that's that. So, you know, hugely successful already. Now, if you could describe the event in one word, what would it be? Success. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and what do you think about CCL TV being here? Um, I'm really proud to be here. Um, thank you for having me. Um, that, 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 was, that, was, that was a pleasure to inviting me for this, uh, for this interview. Well, thank you so much for your time. I know you don't have much of it. So thank you again and good luck with the rest of the event. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Peter. Thank you.